everyone this is our next video of pc nsa series in this video we are going to discuss identify and implement proper net policies and the today topic is the destination net we will learn how we can create destination net on the palo alto firewall also we will see the some theory part also so what is the destination net a destination net is performed on incoming traffic when the firewall translates a destination address to the different destination address so let's understand this more so what is the use of the destination network so let's say you have a one server which is hosted on your dmg network and you want to public users can access your your dmg server from internet so what actually you will do so let's say this is your firewall palo alto firewall on your untrust zone you are you are having public ip address range let's say 192.168.3.0/24 so in the real environment you will get the different range this is the private range in my case i have taken this and in the in your dmg segment you might be running 172.16.1.0 and your external server and your that dmg server ip address is 172 16 1.10 and your public server which uh, like a uh, this is your public range what you what you need to do you select one public ip from your range so in my case what i will do 192 168 3.10 so this is my public ip and this is my private ip so what i want to do like this is hosted in my network i want to export i want to explore like a, this servers to the internet so internet user will hit this public ip address from their browser or application and from firewall when it's come to this 192.163.3.10 it will translate to 1.10 the source will be the same but the destination which is 3.10 source any public ip address you can say and the destination will be this 3.10 the firewall will translate this 3.10 to 1.10 and this process we called as a destination net static destination net which is on palo alto firewall and second we have a net is a dynamic net with session distribution so this is destination net allow you to translate original destination address to the destination host or server that has dynamic ip addresses meaning an uh, an address object that uses fqdn which can return to multiple addresses from dns dynamic address with session distribution only support ipv4 destination net using dynamic ip address is specifically useful for cloud deployment so let's understand what is the meaning of that in this scenario let's say we have a palo alto firewall on the any cloud deployment let's say azure or gcp or aws so we are having some extra some internal servers this is our internal servers and this is the public facing internet interface then here from this is the external user which is hosted on the internet we will give our public ip address to access it let's say any one 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 any ip address so user will hit this ip address instead of this they might be might be seen that uh, we can give the fqdn also we can give the fqdn or we can we just give this public ip address here in the in our internal environment we are using the fqdn like say xyz.com and now this x xyz.com is resolving to the multiple ip address so once that this request come to the firewall firewall let's say this is server one this is server two and this is server three then user once 
user hit this uh, this public ip it will comes to this it will translate to this xyz.com you will get the ip address and that ip address based on that ip address this session distribution happens so this is a similar kind of way for uh, external load balancing which we use in the f5 we can simulate that but that is the load balancing and that is a very advanced techniques or uh, that is a pure different technology but this concept we use for the cloud deployments where we have a that url and that url will uh, resolve to the multiple ip address and based on that they will session distribute will happen so let's quickly demonstrate this is on the lab so i'm using the lab of previous video i just created if this before this video for the source net if you not watch just watch this source net video also so in this in this lab i have a, some external server which is having this 3.10 and this is my external range 3.1 then this is our palo alto firewall management interface connected to my wireless which is using this ip address and this is my lan switch and this is the internal server in the destination map in the destination mapping i have select picked one public ip like in this range 3.20 and i have mapped with 1.10 which is the assigned on this server so what i will try i will try to access this server from my external server so that configuration which i discussed on the previous video would be the same and in this video i will only discuss what policy requirement and net policy requirement for that require for to complete is the destination net so let's start with the net so how we can create the net for the static so after that i will show you the policy also so if you open the destination net which i just try created so here what i did i taken let us start with the name so the name is a destination policy name could be anything and if you want to apply the tag you can apply it other things is required you can apply it also the group things and all and second topic will be the original packet and in original packet we have to take the source zone that where the traffic is coming so this is untrust zone and why this is untrust zone because that external user is on here is it is coming towards from this 3.1 interface and this is a part of our untrust zone so that's the reason i selected that source inter source zone is a untrust zone who is the source address so source address could be the anything so from internet we don't know the exactly source ip and if you see here i selected the destination zone it is all destination zone will be always the untrust in case of the destination net why because if you see i have selected this 3.20 and 3.20 belongs to the untrust firewall don't know about that uh, uh, that we have we are incoming and where the subnets belong that firewall will always look this ip address and this is belongs to our external interface that is the reason we have to select that destination zone as a untrust now the third pack in the third criteria will be the translated packet so in the translated packet what i have say that 1.10 that 1.10 is our external server which is hosted on here this this is our 1.10 so now this is related to the net policy where you define the name original packet is untrust destination zone will be that untrust because this 3.20 visible to untrust only in the translated packet we have we are translating the destination translation so that is the reason i select the destination static ip and i, I have typed that my local ip which i which will be the real destination if someone is at 3.20 they will translate to the 1.10 so this is for destination net policy and for policy requirement we, we have some policy requirement also so we just translated and now in the extra in external dnet policy this is the name i entered it 
and further in the source section where the traffic is coming from so traffic is coming from untrust and source address is any because we don't know the source address and the and the destination zone will be the trust because we are coming from untrust and going to the trust so we are coming from untrust this is the flow we are coming from untrust and we are going to trust that is the reason we selected that zoom and the destination address will be the 3.20 why because in the policy creation we have to select the after destination net ip address it is not it is not like that you have to, you will select at 172 1.10 that will not work because of the packet flow post when the packet enters to the palo alto firewall then first destination net will happen then policy check will happen so after the destination net happening this is the exact destination we will get 3.20 and other things i have selected that application as a telnet in the service section i selected 23 port number and rule allow and that okay so this is two thing required for the destination net so let's test this connectivity for that so what i will do i will open this external server and further i will open my internal server also so what i will do i will hit my public ip address and i should get access of my internal resources what i will do i just initiate the telnet 192.168.3.20 let's confirm the ip 3.20 which i have selected yes now let's try to telnet it here i get the access cisco and this is now if you see i am on the internal pc if you see uh, from the internal resource that who is accessing from where the what will be the exact ip address then you will get the ip address here so now 3.10 3.10 is accessing this so we just perform the translation of it so who is the 3.10 this is the 3.10 so we have initiated this connection and we have accessed this internal resource which is hosted on our internal uh, internal network and once we hitted this ip address the 3.20 3.20 once that 3.20 will comes on the firewall that translate to the 1.10 that is implies to the destination net so that i can access my external my internal resources via internet so two things are required to perform the destination net one is the policy security policy and other thing is the net policy so it is pretty much simple that just need the point for to note that when you creating the net policy that source zone and destination zone both will be the untrust and while creating the policy you just remember that you have to take the post net address not the pre net address these two points we need we need to remember otherwise mostly engineers will forget this and this may be that might will not get work so this is the hit count now we received on the palo alto firewall so on the net if you open that we will get the hit up for the destination net also we will get some time the hit up for destination net also yeah we get it so our rules are perfectly fine and working properly and the other is for the session distribution so for that we just select this dynamic address and we have to provide the uh, url based or that uh, ip from which need to be translated and we have to select that session distribution method where round dropping that ip modulo and other thing so this was video related to the destination net i hope you enjoy this video please like this video and if you want to support this channel please subscribe as well thank you so much for watching the video